Good morning, Quadcopter 101 here. Before we get started, the shout outs goes to Marios Chrysomalis. He was the first to say first in one of my recent videos, and thus wins this shout out. So, congratulations, Marios. What do I got for you today? This is the new MJX 708P version. Now, there was an MJX 708 previously that came out, but this is an upgrade to it in that it now includes an optical flow sensor in the belly here, along with a 720p FPV Wi-Fi FPV camera. Now, um, what's so special about the optical flow sensor? Well, that enables the quadcopter to hover like it has a GPS system close to the ground. What it does is it looks at the ground and uses what it's seeing on the ground to maintain its position, automatically maintain its position without you having to fly it. Now that's pretty cool in itself. But now in addition to that we now have a 720p HD camera, FPV camera that you can view via your phone over 2.4 gigahertz. This is not a 5.8 gigahertz flyer so most phones will be able to use it. Additionally it records video directly to a micro SD card so that eliminates the lag that you normally see with recorded Wi-Fi video. So uh, that is a big advantage in itself right there. And it is powered by a little uh, very common micro low C uh, uh, lipo, lipo battery. <laughs> okay, uh, Very similar to uh, what you see on the uh, CMAX 5C. So CMAX 5C batteries can work in this. Um, there is no on off switch unfortunately so you have the only way you turn it on and off is by plugging it in here. Now it is controlled this Wi-Fi flyer via the MJX controller. Let's go over the buttons for it. This red button here when you if you have a hard time binding the quadcopter turn the quadcopter on hold this button down and turn on the transmitter and that will enter the transmitter into bind mode and it will bind with a quadcopter. Once you get a bind with a quadcopter you don't need to hold that red button down in future binds. Um, additionally this red button if you press it quickly it uh, unlocks the blades and puts them into idle and uh, if you want to lock the blades after landing you hold it down for a few seconds. The button on left here is for turning the lights on and off and if you hold it in for two seconds it enters into headless mode. And the button on the right here is for changing the rates of the quadcopter from beginner, intermediate to expert rate for higher speed flying. And this button here does nothing. And these buttons here are just trim buttons and this is your pitch or your throttle, yaw, pitch and roll. So let's go for a flight of this thing and see how it performs. Hope you enjoy this flight. Okay, this is the MJX H app. Now to take off, I am recording video. Let me hit record from video. I'm not recording video. <laughs> now I'm recording video. Okay, to take off, I have to press this red button here to start the motors. Quick press. And then to take off, I just give it some throttle. Let's see how its optical position flow hole <laughs> it works. It seems to be working. Let's go up a bit higher. Let's turn it toward me. Get in the picture. Say, how do you like my shirt today, folks? <laughs> Again, this is probably more for selfie flying. Um, although you can turn the altitude hold off, if I believe, or, or the not the altitude hold, the optical flow off. Let's fly over here. Maybe I'm wrong on that. Let's put it at the higher rate. And the first thing I want to test is let's plop it here, not in the sun, but diagonally from the sun but still so that you can see me and let's go a little, little farther over because what I want to do is I want to set it up high enough to see where this uh, optical flow fails now I do have a wind about four knots coming from my right shoulder but let's take it up higher going up and see how the optical flow hold works okay I am about I'd say about 10 meters in the air, and it seems to be holding. Let me let me do a yaw. Oh, as soon as I give it a little bit of yaw, it starts to drift. <laughs> okay, so keep that in mind. When you're giving it uh, uh, yaw commands, it will drift. But let's plop it there again. Let's see if it regains position. It's holding its position again, directly overhead. So let's go a little bit higher and see where it fails. Going up higher higher about 15 meters up and it's still holding its position <laughs> that's pretty darn good oh, and there we go going a little bit higher even a little more throttle and it's starting to drift okay so right about there so somewhere between 10 to 15 meters is the maximum altitude that you can go with this while using optical flow position hold 
Okay, I just bring it in closer. And I think I misspoke. I don't think you can turn off the optical flow on this particular quadcopter. I was thinking of another quadcopter. Going up a bit higher. Okay, let's stop the video there. And since this is supposed to be a selfie bird, let's see it takes some pictures. I'm not hearing anything, so but I am assuming it's taking pictures. Let's go up a bit higher. One more smile. And one more. <laughs> okay. And go back to video. Start video again. Video is recording. Waving to synchronize it. Touching this. <laughs> and now let's see how maneuverable this thing is. We are in begin or intermediate rate. Going over there. Let's go to higher rate. That was beginner rate. This is intermediate rate. It comes very fast. There's only two rates, beginner and intermediate. We are in intermediate right now. Let's try the funnels. Going up wind. This is its funnels. Okay. Can we fly FPV with this? How smooth is it? There's a, they're going to be cutting grass here shortly, but until uh, they do, <laughs> let's see if I can fly FPV with this. Actually, there's not very much lag in this. Actually, I can fly FPV with this. I'm doing it right now. Let's see if I can go between those trees, go between the trees. And I still got signal. And taking it up higher and coming back. Flying an FPV with, on, oh, using the screen only, and the lag is very low on this particular quadcopter. I'm surprised. Um, and the range, you know, I was over there about 50 meters, you know, not super far, but let's see how much range we can get. Bringing it back down again. Let's see if I can go, that pole over there is about 70 meters away. Let's see how close I can get to it. And toward the pole using FPV. Which way is the wind blowing, folks? First off, <laughs> before I do that, I want to get up or er, downwind so that when we do lose signal, that I can regain it. But going toward the pole using optical flow, and I'm right about there. That's pretty amazing. <laughs> and the position holds holding it, so when I do lose contact with it, it shouldn't drift, I'm hoping. Getting closer to the pole, letting go. Right by that pole, so 70 meters easily. It does. Let's see if I can turn it back toward me. Turning to the left, turning to the left. And where am I? There I am, down there. So push it. we're pushing forward. The FPV's working out wonderful on this one. <laughs> I'm actually surprised. You know, normally FPV, Wi-Fi FPV flyers are terrible. This one is not bad. Now, does it have split screen yet? It does have split screen viewing. Let me press that button real quick so you can see that. With this viewing here, you see the split screen? You would be able to use these, this particular um, quadcopter with uh, like uh, Google <laughs> goggles. What is that? Uh, cardboard. Cardboard goggles. You know, virtual reality goggles in effect and fly this. So that's why that's, the picture's like that. Although you can see it is kind of scrunched. Coming back out of 3D view. Okay, what is this 180 degree? I'm going to press that and see what it does. Oh, that just flips it. So, okay, overall, um, it is a nice flyer. Its optical flow is working wonderfully, as you can see there. Its Wi Fi FPV works wonderfully. <laughs> I'm actually surprised at that. Um, normally, um, again, Wi-Fi flyers have awful lag. Let me stop the video real quick. I wanted to start it up again, resyncing again. <laughs> but this does not have p terrible lag on it, and it holds its position rather well. Now I'm looking down below, seeing if there's any blinking yet. No blinking, so we can continue on. Let me try to fly it again, FPV around the, the trees. Looking, looking, looking at my screen. FPV is working actually very good. Can I bring it back toward me? 
Let's turn my back to it. Yeah, I don't want to hit myself in the head, so coming up a bit higher. So yeah, you can easily fly FPV with this particular quadcopter. It actually works very well. <laughs> Surprised. Lag is minimal. Very smooth flyer, very easy flyer. This would be perfect for beginners. I don't know how well the camera's coming up, but let's go up real quick and go upwind. And what I want to do is take it upwind and do a 360. Now, I'm flying very early in the morning because it's hot out here in the desert. <laughs> so, uh, you're going to see the sun is what I'm saying. But there's our local Home Depot over there, and they're coming back down again. I think I seen, I'm seeing uh, lights blinking, so I better bring it back down. Reducing throttle. Yeah, lights are blinking. It's about time. So we're getting a warning now that our battery is getting low, so we're going to bring it down close to the ground before we lose power. I'm giving my final thoughts on it. And it's going down to the ground. So there, there's its landing, automatic landing on low power. Let me stop that video. So overall, this, this is an excellent beginner's quadcopter. You get optical flow position hold, so it maintains its position on the ground. Keep in mind, if you take it high, that optical flow position hold is not going to work very well once you get above about 12 meters or so. So, uh, But as a beginner, you shouldn't be going above 12 meters. You should be keeping it close to the deck. And with that in mind, this works very well. Um, I don't know how well its camera works, but I know, you know, we'll find out here shortly in post-editing, but um, its FPV uh, transmission power is very good. Uh, it was at about 70 meters. It still had good FPV with very little lag. So overall, this is a good beginner's quadcopter. Hope you enjoyed this flight. It's Quadcopter 101. Let's get that. It's Quadcopter 101. Signing out. There's the sun. <laughs>